Hello everyone and welcome back to another horror tutorial uh, episode in our series. Um, when we left off we were doing kind of uh, level design work. We might do a little bit in this episode but what I really want to try and kind of do is um, work on our level transition. So without wasting too much time what I really would like to do is just find out what I did with our hard if we had one I don't think we've got one have we interface open door yeah here we go uh, so we're, doing, we're gonna set up another one which is um, the widget blueprint um, we want to do uh, let's just call this loading screen there we go open that up and um, we just want to set up basically so we want to let's go for an image I guess let's check an image out yeah um, and then what I want to do is size to content maybe no no or just make it as big as the area let's do anchor to the middle Um, you just want to make sure it's oh god I, I messed that up a little bit but you just want to make sure it's essentially covering uh, the whole screen as much as possible uh, and then we want to change the colour to uh, black just because what we want to happen is uh, when we load this into the world we want it to cover the whole screen um, so you don't see any transition period or anything loading in and things like that for example uh, and then all we want to do is get a standard text box. Uh, I probably want it to be a little bit bigger than that, to be honest. Let's go for 48. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Uh, I'm just going to put this, if I can get it, uh, at the bottom. Can I move it? Yeah, I can. And we'll change it. So we don't need to put any like code or anything to this. We just want it to say loading like so. Uh, maybe try and center it as best you can. I mean, if you're very, very particular, you'll um, you'll do it better than I did. And then we want just a throbber. And for any of you that don't know what a throbber is, it's literally just as you, you should be able to see it now. It, oh God, I'm messing everything up. Jesus Christ! Uh, it is just a little dot mechanism right uh, so that's essentially what our loading screen is going to be it's very simple so you can compile that and you can save it um, and close that down or leave it there actually for, for now um, but that's essentially kind of done with um, and now the next bit is where it gets a bit iffy I might have to um, fix this or, or go, go away and, and try and get it working and then come back kind of thing uh, but let's I think it is in levels level transitions it is so level one to two open it up uh, and we've also so so far what we've got is uh, the add the widgets and the remove the widgets uh, now this is where it gets a little bit confusing for myself uh, I'm hoping there is a Um, I'm getting over that with what we've got. On release event called on the left mouse button. Oh no, no, we got that. Okay, maybe not. Um, let's just put in this key. Uh, or um. Uh, let's leave that for a second. I'm, what I'm trying to kind of get to is if we do our interaction here when it's pressed, um, we want to uh, add to viewport. We, uh, no, we don't. Sorry, apologies. When it's pressed, we want to cast. 
to third person character. Um, then we want to create widget and that widget is going to be our loading screen. Uh, I'm going to put a delay as well, a delay on it, uh, just to uh, just so it actually shows you the loading screen gives a chance. I'm going to put like two seconds on it, I guess. Uh, and then we want to, uh, I think it's just called open level. Yeah, there we go. And we should, as long as it's correct. Now, I can't remember what I actually called it. I think it's a room dash two. Room dash two. So as long as you just put in here room, and it's got to be correct, you know, otherwise it won't pull through anything and nothing will happen. I don't think this is going to particularly work. If I'm honest. Um, but we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. Compile. Hmm. The type object is undetermined. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because um, get third. No. Does it get actor? No. Get player. Get player character. We'll go with that. Let's compile it now. There we go. <laughs> right. That's grand. Right. All we need to do now is go back to our room and press play. So start in our usual starting position. And then we go into there, we press E, and nothing happens. That's what I was worried about a little bit, to be honest, not going to lie. Um, okay, give me two seconds. I'm just going to work out where I've gone wrong. And we shall be back. Okay, so, uh, after racking my brain a bit, first of all, the first thing I forgot when creating this part was adding to the viewport. Uh, I also forgot to do that too. Uh, the reason for that is that obviously it won't add the loading screen. Uh, the second thing I forgot was to uh, enable input. That's what I was looking for while I was messing around doing what I was doing. Uh, and the same for this one is a disable input um, once we're out of that box. Uh, we also need to get player controller like so um, which also should give us this then and then cast into the third person controller uh, I don't think I need to do that uh, this should work in theory <laughs> we'll give it a go and see where we get to if not it's going to be another thing I'm going to have to continue looking at in future episodes I guess so so the loading screen comes up it delays, and we come to, so it needs to delay a little bit longer. Uh, but it works. It loads up the next level. The um, widget could be a little bit bigger, admittedly, and probably could delay for a little bit longer, but it actually sends us into the next level, which is fantastic. And it brings us to where we need to be, which is great. Uh, and then we can do the same thing here. Uh, that's a wee bit flat in my liking, but there we go. Um, yeah, so it brings us to our next level, which is great. Um, cool, so that's how you do transitions and actually do them so they work. So while we're here, oh God, wherefore, oh, ah, okay, so it still thinks I'm in level one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna make that delay five seconds, I guess. I'm kind of hoping it's not that it uh, delays and then, you know, um, and then it loads the game in because it will just show you a loading screen. It might be something we have to tackle down the line, basically, but that's fine. Uh, let's do this. So, size to content? Nope. Not what I wanted. Uh, just didn't feel quite big enough, did it? Fill screen size. How do I get that to fill screen size? Interesting. Um... Uh, let's do that. 
see what happens. No, that was. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Um, compile that. I don't think I did anything there to, to, to <laughs> make it work, but oh, we're there. That's why I wanted. I'm pretty sure I fixed it now. Let's let's give it a press. We've put it up to five seconds. Let's see if the actual other level loads in while we're looking at a loading screen. So press E, it's loading. The Thalber needs to be anchored because you can't see it very well. And, oh, that was pretty close. That was pretty close. And we're into our next level, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, we, we also do need to be able to go back. Uh, loading screens could be a bit, bit shorter, uh, you know. I'm sure that's probably more of, uh, of a performance issue, but you know, such is life. So that's great. Let's do. So that's anchored where it should be. You're not anchored, so let's do that. Okay, so it should now spawn where I've placed it. Hopefully, compile that. The next thing is let's do that to 5.5, I guess. I mean. That's a pretty long loading screen every time you're going through a door, but I mean the areas could get bigger. Um, it doesn't always have to be, you know, that. I mean, like this is a two-second room. Do you know what I mean, like in terms of story-wise, you're going to wake up here, you're going to go literally straight to that door, and you're out. So, um, yeah, I'm not exactly particularly worried, but it's like if you went through here and there was something you had to do in here and you had to come back and you go back again and the back and forth you know you're wasting a lot of time I mean that's pretty bang on I'll tell you that okay um, and then the next idea is for him to kind of come up to here so we're gonna want another trigger box here now or or in this area I suppose uh, and we want to like a do what that's we'll, we'll cover it in the next episode we want to do once then we want something to kind of come out and come up to the gate and then we want some voice lines in there as well I'm sure but we'll we'll do all that uh, absolutely okay cool um, we still haven't fixed our sprint yet either that's another thing we still need to, that's still need to fix and save but overall that's that's pretty good going we've 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 done a transition which is what we set out to do so uh, bravo us which is which is great okay uh, let us I, I, I need to fix the rain somehow on this. I, I, again, I'm not really sure what's going on with that particle system there. It's a bit, it's a bit janky. I actually was in the right area where I wanted to be. So let's load room two. We've got a few minutes. So let's just. Um, oh God, hello. He's very illuminated there. Level transitions. Let's just uh, duplicate. Yep. And we'll call this. Uh, rename this to level. Two to one transition doesn't like the space apparently. Okay, no dramas. All right, uh, and then we literally just do exactly the same thing. Bring it here, drag it up, scale it around a bit, and we should be good to go. All right, so I want it out a little bit more, I guess, but. Um, yeah, there we go. So when you run up to that door, press E. Same thing will happen, but all you have to do is just remember you've got to come in. Um, where's he gone? Oh god. Yeah, level 2 1, 2 1. The thing you've got to remember is to change this to load room 1. Okay? Uh, there might be a little bit more to sort on this one only because I think and we'll find out now when we, we try it I think he's going to spawn him back in his main spawn location is a problem I don't think he's going to spawn him at the door let's see still not yeah <laughs> that's something we'll have to work out I, I'm guessing it's going to be to do with like setting a player spawn location uh, within level 1 but overall at least it works at least it takes us back to level 1 where you know we can move from room to room that's great okay cool brilliant so what's next on the agenda we want to put in some sort of like voicings uh, it'll be sadly my embarrassing voice but 
still uh, we'll put in some nice little voice quotes so that when you kind of transverse the levels you, you kind of hear the main character and he'll say stuff and it'll be really really lame because I'm, I'm voicing it but you know it'll be cool uh, we're also going to set a jump scare up right at this gate here because I suppose if you were, let's set like I mean if we were to set the scenario you were kidnapped you woke up in this tiny ass warehouse you walked out here and you saw a gate there that leads into an alleyway you're going to take it right uh, so there's got to be a reason for him to not go through that gate. I mean, a lot of games are like, oh, it's locked, you know. Oh. But we kind of want to want to scare the player a little bit early. We want to make them feel uneasy straight away, you know. Uh, and then we're going to go through those doors. So we'll have probably another couple of Blender episodes as well where we go through here. We'll build up like a... a, a so we'll, we'll try and do like a slightly larger area that's a bit more interesting. Um, uh, but we'll go from there, I think. So we want to do so that we got that's the next few episodes planned anyway. We're doing voices. We're going to do some a jump scare, and we're going to start setting up the third room. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Though, uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it would mean the world to me. And if you haven't already, head over to Facebook and check out Dead Developer Studios to find out all the games we've got coming out in 2021. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.